A really interesting new feature of Internet Explorer version 9 when combined with Windows 7 is the ability to be able to pin one of these tabs, or in other words a website, to the Windows 7 taskbar. Let me show you what this looks like. This might be really useful if from time to time you want to just open up your Hotmail or your Facebook or some other website without having to open up a full copy of Internet Explorer and open up all of these other tabs. So to do this, all we have to do is just click on the tab, then drag it down to the taskbar. Now we can see the message there, pin to taskbar, and if I let go of the left mouse button, a new copy of Facebook opens up. I'll just minimize it. And here we have the icon sitting down on the taskbar. The red circle with a star in it just means that there are new messages. So someone has sent me a message or there's a notification or something like that. I'm going to come back up now and do the same thing for Hotmail in this case. I'm going to click on the Hotmail tab, then drag it down to the taskbar let go of the left mouse button and now we can see another copy of Hotmail opens up so I'll minimize this and I'll shut down the other copy of Internet Explorer that I had running. So now I have Hotmail and also Facebook. One of the nice things about this as well is that if you're familiar with the concept of jump lists under Windows 7 I can right click on Hotmail for example and I can go straight to SkyDrive, or my contacts, or my inbox. If I right click on the Facebook icon, I can jump straight to friends, or events, or messages, news, etc. So this is really, really interesting. If I now come back and open up the original Internet Explorer, it still comes back and opens up all of the usual tabs that I have configured, but if I would like to shut this down now, and click on Hotmail for example, this just opens up Hotmail. Actually I'll shut down this window and show you what it looks like when we open it up from scratch. I'll click on the icon and as you would expect it just takes you into Hotmail. I have the auto logon turned on in this particular case. If you don't have that set then of course you'll be taken to the login screen so that you can log into your Hotmail account. So that's a quick look at another interesting new feature of Internet Explorer version 9.